there had never been a group of American surfers that were taking over the sport, both culturally and competitively. We've always had a bit of a fascination with stories about cultural icons who live together during their formative years and then go off to become legends in their own right. But we had never heard of a case where that time period had been captured on tape. Oh my God. <laughs> Ultimately, we licensed from 138 different archival vendors, which is the most we've ever done on an archival doc. Each of these guys as individuals has such dynamic layered stories that we had to keep reminding ourselves in the edit that this is about the collective. <laughs> Look at <laughs> In a sport that traditionally they talk about as being really cutthroat and really competitive and every man for himself, here was a unit that during the time of their rise really worked together and looked out for each other. The film then looks at how the pressure to succeed affects that camaraderie and that bond and that unity in the group and how they cope with it. Even though we knew a ton about them as athletes, as surfers and cultural icons, there wasn't a whole lot that had been written, if anything at all, about some of their darker moments, both as a group and as individuals. We all were in agreement that this wanted to be more than a sports film and that we wanted to take on the relationships and emotion and psychology and really go for interviews that were raw and vulnerable. We filmed what were probably some of the longest interviews that we've ever filmed, sometimes upwards of nine, 10 hours in an interview chair. <laughs> what we heard on the tail end of many of those long interviews is that it was actually a really therapeutic or cathartic experience. And it was interesting also once we screened the film with all the guys that they actually learned a lot about each other that they still hadn't shared. Of all the films we've ever made, this is the one where we most closely identified with the lessons and the insights of the subjects particularly in this culture we live in that seems to value success above all else, how do we remind ourselves of that deep importance of relationships? As Jeannie Chesser so eloquently put it in her interview, bros before pros. 